national insecurity, kind of what uh, the Occupy Wall Street movement is about by Kay McIntyre. They're daft, but somehow deftability to commit theft and steal from we a blindfolded people has put a mask on this nation that we're left to find holes to see through, much less find a hole to breathe through. They ostracize our outcries, and they boycott the true sight of our eyes. And through cohesion, they do us no treat when they blackball us and call the truth lies. With flattering lips and grandiloquence, the establishment and pontificates a blandishment, a plan for action, an apparatus that's always left clandestine when the latter end of the question is left answerless. Another defective plan from yet another ineffective man is stopped short of where we are trying to get. It's left this country of ours covered in scars to fall on either side of the fence. Outwardly they're ambassadors of peace, but inwardly they're masters of deceit and ravenous beasts. They allow the defacement of sacred morality. They say, I label you and you don't label me. They concede no due impunity for the bloodthirsty. They chastise me and forget themselves. They construct a chaotic composition of confusion and concur to create a currency, their citadels. They won't settle until the town is a jail and every house is a cell. They won't settle until the ghetto is in hell with the devil and every house is for sale. They let the drug dealers steal from us. After all, they get enough from you for free. A blind eye lets the drug pollute the street and it turns around to watch it mess up the community. They get USA addicted to get a buck from you and me, which ultimately means more crime. It means more time to keep their system running smoothly. But meanwhile, it'll get a little bit more senile out in the inner city and prisoners of the street get sucked up into this thing. Oh, how they fool us, the ill-suited that rule us. The truth is still muted, and if we move too close to it, they'll use sharpshooters to remove us. They're drunk with power for one good hour until they wake up and see this disaster and their laughter. It will end after the overworked servants become their masters. The end. This is the end for you, my friend.